Welcome back to the Virgin Gourmet. I'm Chef Theo here in the beautiful island of St. Thomas. We just got through getting our fresh fish from the local market. We got some coconuts from the roadside vendor. Now we're in the kitchen. Today we're going to be making our banana spice rum upside down bread pudding. We're also going to be making our native dish. A steamed kingfish in a lemon butter sauce with okra fungi, which is a version of polenta. All right, more finer course. Now we're in the kitchen. Let's get started with our banana upside down bread pudding so we can get that working while we get back on our rest of our dish, all right? Now, I'm using some old bread that I got lying around in the kitchen. So we're gonna go ahead and use this up, all right? No particular pattern. I'm just gonna go ahead and do rough cut. About two cups worth of French bread. Again, you can utilize any bread you get at your local bakery. I got this from my local bakery last week. It's not going to waste. I'm going to take half cup of raisins, put those right in there. Half cup shredded coconut. This is sweet shredded coconut. Locally, you can get a shredded coconut freshly grated. Or in this case, I got these from the local grocery. Half cup of brown sugar. And the reason I'm using brown sugar, the molasses is still in the sugar, it's full body, it's a lot of fun, all right? The flavor is definitely more intense with the use of brown sugar. I'm incorporating all of these ingredients. And while I work these together, what I'm gonna do, take two cups of whole milk, Pouring it right in there, so you can take in all of the flavors that we added. A teaspoon, fresh cinnamon. Let this work. Now is where the flavors start to come to life. So this is a dish that you can get your kids helping you on, all right? They want to get them in the kitchen. This is a junior chef task right here, right? So let's let this work. Now the bread starts to take in all of the flavors. We set this aside. While this is resting, we let it rest for at least 10 minutes. Let's get started with our topping, all right? The topping today, we're using our grated bananas. In the Virgin Islands, we grate our bananas. Typically, we utilize bananas in its green state, just like these right here. Those are utilized in our stews, soups, even as side dishes, all right? Steam provisions. So I'm gonna take the banana and just cut it on a bias. Again, no particular manner. We're cooking for friends and we wanna make sure that they're all happy. Let's get our stuff out of the way. Now we got our banana cut. We're gonna go ahead I have a medium size saute pan. It's been conditioning for five minutes. You hear that? Now you know your pan is nice and hot. We're gonna let this work. And while that's going, we're gonna take the one banana, saute it right inside of that pan. And while this is sauteing, this is a very quick task. What I'm gonna do, one ounce of light rum, two ounces of brown sugar. You see I'm using that brown sugar a lot. It's very unique and distinct in flavor and the profile of your dish comes right to life. This is a very short task. Now your sugar is dissolved as well as your butter. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna take my baking pan I have a half cup of water in there. I'm gonna use two ramekins. Now while I'm using these ramekins, you could also use a non-stick muffin pan. It will do the same job, all right? Again, moderate portions of this caramel banana topping into the pan. We wanna get as much of this in there as possible. Now, our bread pudding mixture that we had 
sitting for at least 10 minutes. I'm just going to fill these ramekins and again, get as much as possible right into the pan. Again, don't forget, the family can join in. It's easy. It's one of the uh, quickest ways to utilize that old bread in the kitchen. And they will never think you created this dish from the bread off the top of the refrigerator down here. Now we're getting as much as our bread pudding filling in there, but we're not finished as yet. And when we come back, we're going to start working on our national dish. Steamed kingfish in a lemon butter sauce with okra fungi. Stay with us.